Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a super exciting video. In today's video we're going to be checking out the all new Tyro 79 Pro. It is a DIY drone but this is the Pro version. The original version had only 20 amps. This one is 35 amps and it's all inside of an all-in-one. So you're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. Oh, oh. All right, pilots. So what makes this so awesome is it's a DIY. And what that means is you get all these parts just in little baggies in a box and you open it up and you get to build it yourself. So if you're not into building drones, this is really not going to be for you. But if you like building drones, but you're not sure on how to match your motors with your flight controller and making sure I have the correct ESC to propeller configuration, that is where this comes into play. Everything is already picked out and decided for you. And here it is all in a box ready to go. It's got awesome 3D printing already ready to go. You've got your frame, which is very similar to the original frame. We've got the all-in-one board. Look at that board. It's just absolutely beautiful. Everything is on there except for your VTX, which we have a 400 milliwatt VTX right here. It is a plug-in place. So that means you must provide your own receiver. I went ahead and went with Crossfire. It's actually uh, going to give me more range than most of your common receivers, but feel free to use whatever you wish. You're on analog, and with that 400 milliwatts, we shouldn't have a problem going plenty far, and it's definitely not going to outdo our radio link. These motors are 2800 kV motors. They are the old school configuration where two of them are clockwise and two of them are counterclockwise. That'll be that CW, CCW, whenever you see that. And they've kind of uh, indicated it by different color prop nuts. So you'll see the black and the silver. Now, you do get a 3D printing little mount that you can use to mount your receiver. I went ahead and just stuffed my crossfire in there. Some guys are taping them up here, but feel free to do what works best for you. You get all of your mounting hardware, screws, bolts, nuts, everything. You've got a solid unibody bottom plate. Now for the 3D printing for the feet, when you enter your screws, they will just fall right through. At least for me, they did. So I had to find some longer screws and use a little bit of washers, and then I was able to lock it down. Now, it is a bottom mount quadcopter, right? So that means my battery is going to mount like this. So I, I don't really even see the need for the 3D printing on the feed other than it matches and it looks cool and things like that. But when you're going from the original Tyro 79, and that name 79 is not because it's 79 millimeters, this wheelbase is 140 millimeters. The 79, the Tyro 79, was because it was $79. And how could you beat that? A whole quadcopter ready to go, everything in the box. I build it, I fly it, how cool. 79 bucks. You do get a battery pad, but it's an odd shape and you may want to cut it a little bit because it doesn't really fit like this. For our camera, we're rocking the Nano 2 by Runcam and that's feeding through a 400 milliwatt VTX. You've got a dipole antenna and you've got a little 3D printed mount where you can add these straws and come through with your antenna depending on which receiver you run. You get this very cool strapping stuff where you can wrap a little bit around to hold down your motor wires. Keep in mind these are older and not upgraded. So that is in the terms of the different clockwises as well as these wires are not silicone <laughs> wires. So that's why I have went ahead and kept them long and just wrapped them around and kind of tucked them in because trying to strip and clean and tin are just no fun at all. We've got this really cool aluminum bracket and then you've got 3K carbon on the sides, top and bottom with a unibody plate. Absolutely nice and very, very cool, but Again, no upgrade from the $79 Tyro 79. So here I am paying an additional $50 and I don't really know what for. I do know that things are inflated right now as far as cost goes. So maybe that's why it's extra. And hey, if you want a decent drone, 
that might be the price you have to pay. All right, so overall, this is just super cool, super awesome. I am super excited. I can't wait to go ahead and take it for a spin. So I hope that you guys find this as cool as I do. If you're into building your own quadcopters, well, here you go, 129 bucks. I'll put a link for you down in the video description. Let's go ahead and take this puppy for a spin. We'll do a maiden, and let's get our battery strapped up. It is a 4S quadcopter. This is an 850 Mini Star. It's uh, too big, if you'll notice here. So there you go, right? So before you strap up your battery strap, be mindful of what type of batteries you're gonna run because this is not gonna work. So here I've got myself a Tattoo 450. This may be a little bit more reasonable. We'll throw this guy down and strap her up. At 2800 kV, it's a little bit on the lower side, but these props are not name brand. They're Race Star, but they do look similar to some gem fans I've seen. We'll have to see how they do. They do look to be a little pitchy, so we'll see how they do. Let's go ahead and power this guy up and take her for a spin. First, we're gonna do the Maiden with a hover. There it is. Crossfire's already connected. Let's go. Oh my God. What is this? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. So here I am, brand new, out of the box. I either have a bad motor or a bad ESC. We're still recording. For $129, I don't even get to fly it. You know what I've got? I've got a very cool wall ornament. You guys have seen my wall. You know this is gonna look nice up there. But for 129 bucks, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to bring it back to the bench and see, is it a MOSFET? Is it a motor? What is it? I'll have to figure it out and see what it is and then stick it on the wall. But here's the deal. We're not gonna waste today's video. We're gonna get in a sweet pack, so stay tuned. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my God, how much further can it go? Can it go further? I don't want to find out. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want to be up here. Let it go, all the boots are like wool. Thing I go, cause you're over. I see, I see, and you're the better now, girl. Yeah, got it cold blood. Yeah, no, I eat it then, I swear. Jagger Mondo Zero, Poxar, can't get you there. Go, I wasn't done. Now I'm back on no more, do it, get chump chin jolly. Let's see, got me till the top, I need to have the body hundred nit, I'm a pro for good, my hands, time to stop. Single, go, Jagger, kind of style. Yeah, I'm a soda, my wind, Jack, on the I'm a badge of body, gag. If you want me back, I'll tell you I'm sorry. If you want me back, I'll tell you stop trying Yeah, yeah, you got me Let it go All the boots are like, whoa Think I go Cause she's over I see, I see And you're the better now, girl Yeah, girl, you're cold-blooded Yeah, girl, you're cold-blooded Yeah, yeah, yeah Uh-uh Girl, you're I'm like a frozen boy, I'm all the stress and gotta let it go. So, so getting dating up with that guy at the boss. Uh, uh, I'm dig up the lid there. Don't know about me and you, yeah, we fell into the cracks. Yeah, got good on it, no cap. Wait, not nah, a nah, boy, what's happening? Get one dog, still got up. She in me, game white flag and wave it fast. Yeah, 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 I'm leaving back, but my don't know my boom and not to name my I don't know, you can love a relationship. Hey, girl, you give me money, girl. I'll tell you I'm sorry I'll If you, you want I'm me back sorry. I'll tell you stop trying Yeah, yeah, you got me Let it go All the boots are like, whoa Yeah, 
girl, you're cold-blooded. 